Hello YouTubers! This is kind of a response video to Rose Anvil, one of my favorite YouTube channels. I forget the guy's name, I think it's Wesson or something. <clears throat> or Wes. Yeah, I'm not sure. <laughs> anyway, we had a small conversation on uh, Instagram uh, about some shoes, because uh, he's doing his Mocktober, uh, cutting in half some older shoes. Um, and he may do some newer ones too. But I think it's mainly year-old shoes. Um, from my understanding, if they have to be at least a year old, because in our conversation, that's kind of what he was going for, is at least a year old. <clears throat> he may do new ones if he buys his own. Um, that's my understanding. Um, anyway, I was showing him these, which are only a few months old. These are from a brand called Patron. Um, so if you look at the... You can see it. Hopefully you can see that, because I can't see the screen. <laughs> Um, but yeah, it's, uh, and it's on the side too, on the side there. I don't have my tripod, so I'm kind of just holding the camera. The tripod broke. <laughs> but, uh, w when I showed these to Rose Anvil, he said they look kind of like Rock Rooster. And my response was, I tried Rock Rooster after his uh, initial video in on Rock Rooster. Um, and I didn't like them because they caused blisters on the heel. But the style that I tried at that time was the uh, their logger style, because that was what I ended up finding. It's like, oh, that's cool. <laughs> so I bought the logger style, and they caused so many blisters, even just after an hour of wearing them, that I that I didn't keep them. Um, <clears throat> so when he said that these looked like Rock Rooster, I went on Rock Rooster's website and found. Uh, these that looked really close. So I didn't end up buying them, obviously. Um, it's like, well, these look close. These look really, really close. They're maybe not quite the same. Uh, they don't, they're, they're similar. They're as close as I could find. Um, <laughs> they're, they're as close as I could find. So it's like, yeah, that's, that's cool. I'll go ahead and buy them. They're, they're on sale. Um, under $100. So <laughs> I know the Rock Rooster does make some better ones that have an actual leather welt, because even in Rose Anvil's video about Rock Rooster, he, he showed one with an actual leather welt. This just has a plastic welt. Um, this does not cause the blister. So, that's cool. <laughs> that's cool. I wore them for yesterday. It just got, it actually they came yesterday. Um, but yeah, this is the one that I really would love Rose Anvil to look into, because I can't find a whole lot of information about these, and it is real leather that feels the same as the Rock Rooster. The leather feels the same. Uh, it's not quite as thick, the leather. I don't have one of those things that he, Rose Anvil, has to check the thickness, but I'm just going by look, this is a lot thinner leather. In fact, I have two pairs of these, and one of them on this, I actually ripped it. <laughs> just pulling the shoe on, or the boot on, I ripped part of this and like oop oops <laughs> so that's a, a lot thinner leather so it may not last as long and it is wearing out actually or it's changing color anyway um <clears throat> so and you can look in the inside and there's stitching yeah there's... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that was my neighbor. I may edit that out. Maybe not. <laughs> Let's see. Here's the, the brand and the sizing and all that. These are actually too small. Um, they're size 10. They're actually too small. I don't like wearing them because my toes are really cramped on the end. <laughs> um, <clears throat> that's why I have two pairs of these because the other pair is 10 and a half, which fit better. And I use to wear them more. <clears throat> anyway... But I do wear these. Um, oh, there's a string. Yeah. It's hard to see through the can. That's not good. That wasn't like that before. <laughs> anyway, so just kind of, uh, they, they obviously, you know, as I said, they're stitching on the inside. That's the stitching on the inside is what I think is holding it together. I think my observation is that that stitching that I tried to show you as the neighbor was coming by um, is. Um, is holding the footbed, what I would call the footbed, some people call it an insole, 
a footbed to I didn't see I, you know it connects the footbed to the midsole which I believe is light white layer here and I'm not sure exactly what that's made out of I'm assuming some sort of plastic I, I could be wrong um, it, it just feels on the exterior it feels like plastic because it feels like the same material that the welt is made out of but without cutting in half I'm not sure it may be something else I don't know um, but it looks like the same thing the Rock Rooster has. And when Rose Anvil did his uh, video on the Rock Rooster, he, called, he, he said it was something else. So if it is the same material that the Rock Rooster has, then I guess that's a good thing. Because I'm thinking it's plastic, but I am could be wrong. Uh, and then there's the foam, and then there's some sort of rubber bottom here. Probably similar to the Rock Rooster. Because um, it has the same layers. There's this rubber or whatever it's called, bottom, whatever this is, and then the foam, and then that. Actually, it's pink on this one, um, and then it's got the welt. <clears throat> so same layers, but I think the I think that's a real um, Goodyear welt on the on the good on the, on those though, <clears throat> and then. They have similar looking, the colors are obviously different, but similar looking upper <laughs> mock toe. Uh, this part's different, obviously. This, where it has just the two, oh, it's not focused, just the two layers instead of three. And it changes right there. And I have another one that's uh, another brand that looks similar, which is this one. By the way, I would probably never buy this one again. <laughs> this is clearly fake leather. This, I can tell that it's fake leather. I mean, it is, doesn't act like leather. <laughs> I don't know what it would be, but it is not leather. It is definitely not leather. And, yeah. <laughs> A lot of these three, it's the only one that has one with that. It's similar to the patron, um... It doesn't have the, 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 uh, what do you call those? The, yeah, speed hooks. doesn't have any of those. I do believe they sell ones with them. It has the three same layers, the three layers. Um, has the, the same three layers, although this is a lot more or less. It's not quite as hard. It's bottom, very bottom layer. Um... <clears throat> I would probably never buy these again. <laughs> this is this is fake leather. This is this is clearly fake leather, and the inside is obviously just fabric. Um, I think it's ten and a half. Is it ten and a half or is it ten? What size is this? It says leather, but it is not. I think they're. I know they're lying to you because it's like, yeah, no, it is not. Um, <laughs> say the size on there, huh? Oh, I guess I did I mention that these are made in Mexico. And this, I do believe this is real leather here. This is, this lining is real leather. This lining, even on this part, I do believe it's real leather. Because that looks similar to a, a shoe that um, Rose Anvil did. Oh, what was it called? Um... Birchberry, I think. I could be wrong, but I think that's what it was. So I, it, it looks similar to that lining that he, that was on that one. And then there's the, the that down there, that is the heel. And I believe that's leather. I, 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 I could be wrong, but I believe that's leather. Again, I would love Rose Anvil's. Um, I don't know why there's a nine down there, by the way. <clears throat> but uh, <laughs> I have no idea. I know some people don't like my laugh. I'm sorry. Um... But, yeah, I, as far as I can tell, this is real leather. Um, so, you know, that's why I would love to see Rose Anvil's... Um, sorry about that. I'd love to um, see Rose Anvil's, uh, you know, cutting one of these in half just to see what he thinks. Because it's only like $60 on, on eBay. 
I don't believe any place else sells them. I can't find them anywhere else. That's why I can't find any information on them. Um, obviously, they do look like these. Um, and they're made, they're both made in Mexico. But this brand here, which does have a website, is clearly fake leather. Um, it, it's, it's fake. And this is, there's no way this is real leather. Unless I'm totally wrong on that, but it fails all the tests that Rose Anvil says to use for leather. It fails all of them. <laughs> um, in fact, I actually, I had two pairs of these. I think I mentioned that already. I threw one in the, um washing machine just out of curiosity <clears throat> it didn't survive <laughs> in fact it melted <laughs> so, uh yeah <clears throat> that's another reason why i don't think it's real leather but uh anyway <laughs> it's, it's, yeah but this is my response video to rose anvil i really love his videos i'm hoping um you know, he does this brand sometime in the future, or even these a year from now. That would be awesome. Um, whether they'll get any more wear since they're too small, I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, I think I'll leave the video right there. <laughs>